five incidents on horror movie sets. Welcome back to another scary video. Today we will discover five incidents happened on horror movie sets. Before starting out, please consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Poltergeist franchise. Released in 1982, the original Poltergeist, directed by Tall Booper and produced by Spielberg, was an instant success and is considered to be a masterpiece of American horror cinema. The film focuses on the Freelings, a middle class family whose life is upturned when a number of paranormal and vicious events occur in their California home and when their daughter, Carol Ann is abducted through her bedroom closet by a group of ghosts who are under the control of a monster demon called the Beast. With Poltergeist's success came the knowledge that real-life tragedies happened on set. After the film was released, people started talking about the alleged deaths of multiple cast members. In total, four actors died during and soon after the filming of the series. Two of these tragic deaths were highly unexpected and puzzling, leading many fans to speculate on the trilogy's eerie implications. Carol Ann Freeling was played by Heather Horark. Only six years old when the first Poltergeist film was released, Carol was misdiagnosed with Crohn's disease in 1987. In 1988, Carol fell ill and was transported to the San Diego hospital. She died during a surgery to correct a bowel obstruction, and it was later believed that she had been suffering from a congenital intestinal abnormality. Dominique Dunn Dominique Dunn, who played the original older sister Dana Freeling, met an equally tragic and unforeseen fate. In 1982, Dan separated from her partner, John Sweeney. In November of that year, John showed up at Dan's house, pleading for her to take him back. When she refused, Sweeney grabbed Dan's neck, choked her until she was unconscious, and left her to die in her Hollywood's home driveway. Sweeney was sentenced to six and a half years in prison, but was released after three years and seven months. Julian Beck and Will Sampson. The evil preacher Kane from Poltergeist 2 was played by Julian Beck. In 1983, Beck had been diagnosed with stomach cancer, which took his life soon after he finished working on the second installment of the series. Will Sampson, on the other hand, who played Taylor the Native American shaman, died after undergoing a heart-lung transplant which had very slim survival rate. Other strange things happen on set. Joe Beth Williams, who played mom Diane Freeling in the first two films, claimed that director Spielberg insisted on using actual human skeleton as props in an attempt to save money. Williams' claim has never been verified, but it persists to this day in the lore surrounding the film's curse. Annabelle. A spin-off of The Conjuring, Annabelle is based on real-life investigation conducted by the Warrens family. The director of the movie reports of seeing marks on the windows, looking very eerily similar to the one left in the movie by the doll. The producer of the film claimed that a light fixture fell in very strange circumstances. The Exorcism of Emily Rose The Exorcism of Emily Rose is a 2005 horror film which tells the true story of the exorcism of Annalise Mika, a young girl which was killed during an exorcism because of a mixed diagnosis that led her parents and the priest to believe she was possessed by the devil. Scott Derrickson, 
the director of horror hit The Exorcism of Emily Rose, has shared a chilling piece of trivia related to the film. He confirmed in a tweet that the film's lead actor Jennifer Carpenter's radio would inexplicably turn on in the middle of the night while they were filming. Not only Carpenter, her co-star Laura Linney also experienced some paranormal activity while they were making the film. Her radio turned on as well, as many as three times during filming. Twilight Zone The Movie Twilight Zone The Movie consists of four stories. The film's most famous one is probably its remake of Nightmare at 20,000 feet. But its first story is Time Out, starring Vic Morrow. Morrow had been acting for decades, playing nearly 100 roles in both films and TV shows over the course of his long career. Unfortunately, Twilight Zone The Movie is his last project. In Time Out, Morrow plays a racist man thrust into the past and forced to live out life-threatening racist scenarios from the point of view of persecuted minorities. Morrow's character ultimately suffers a terrible fate, seemingly on his way to a Nazi concentration camp. However, Time Out was not meant to end this way. Instead, Morrow's character was written to rescue two Vietnamese children from an attacking U.S. helicopter in the middle of the Vietnam War, redeeming himself and changing his ways. But during the filming of this scene, the helicopter was too close to the set and the force and blinding flash of explosion effects caused it to spin out of control, landing directly on top of Morrow, Lee and Chen. All three were killed instantly. The Hammettville Horror the Hammettville Horror is a 2005 American supernatural horror film directed by Andrew Douglas and starring Ryan Reynolds, Melissa George, and Phil Baker Hall. The film is based on the novel The Hammettville Horror by Jay Hansen. The movie documents the experiences of the Lutz family after they move into a house at 112 Ocean Avenue, Long Island. In 1974, Real-life mass murderer Ronald DeFeo Jr. killed six members of his family at the same house in Hammettville, New York. If this wasn't creepy enough for you, hear this. During filming, actors and crew reported of allegedly creepy things happening on set. Melissa George was shooting in a boathouse in the Hammettville Horror when area police approached the crew to inform them that they found the body of a local fisherman floating nearby. A dead body appearing on set of the Hammettville Horror was not the only creepy incident. The story behind the hauntings is that in 1974, Ronald DeFeo Jr. killed six members of his family inside his home. Reportedly, they were all killed at 3.15 a.m. Apparently, the cast and crew, including Reynolds, would wake up at exactly 3.15 a.m. every morning. Melissa George had also supernatural experiences during her downtime on the set. She reported that she got full body chills the first time she saw the set of the house. Melissa George also reported experiencing an ice cold patch of air that would follow her around the set after she learned how the Lutz family had died. Also, when you watch the movie, the fear you see on Melissa George's face is often not acting at all. She was genuinely terrified for a good part of the film. This was all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. New creepy content is coming out soon. Be aware of your surrounding. You never know what's hiding in the shadows.